Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to use Avogadro to construct a um, input file for games. So I've opened Avogadro here and we're just going to um, build a simple molecule. So we're just going to build water. So I'm going to select oxygen, click here, <coughs> automatically adds the hydrogens. Zoom in, rotate a little bit so we can see it. Yep, looks good. Let's go ahead and optimize it. So we'll go up to extensions, optimize geometry, and that looks good. All right, so now we're going to go in under the extensions menu, scroll down, select games, and then click on input generator. That brings up this window. So this is the actual text file down here that will be input to games. And so what we're going to do under basic setup, we're going to have it do an equilibrium geometry, so it's going to optimize the geometry. We're going to have it do that with a restricted Hartree Fock RHF. And for basis set, we'll go and select 631 GDP, Desert Island, uh, Desert Island Double Zeta. We'll do gas phase, um, it's a singlet, all sp spins are paired, and water is a neutral molecule. Okay. Um, there's advanced setup tab here that we can use to add extra things that we would like for the basis set or uh, to control the optimization and so forth. So we can select different uh, different kinds of parameters here for the computational routines. So we can select, for example, the maximum number of self-consistent field iterations. We can make that larger than 30 if we're having trouble converging our um, wave function. And then we have some other things. Uh, stat point is the stationary point so it's trying to find the minimum energy uh, since we're doing that so it says um, optimization method so it's using the quadratic approximation but we can have it do other things like uh, Schlegel's quasi newton raphson method or the newton raphson method or anything so I'm going to leave it at the quadratic approximation which is the default here and we'll set that maximum steps so it'll take at most 20 steps to optimize the geometry if it fails to optimize it then it's just gonna stop and we'll have to restart the job this sets some initial things like the gradient convergence criteria so um, it's gonna look at the gradient and ideally at a minimum the gradient will be zero so you get to set what you would like uh, the computer to think of as zero. So here it's set at uh, 0 0.0001. So once the gradient is less than that, then it's going to say, hey, the gradient's converged, we're at a minimum. So if you want to make sure you're at the absolute bottom, you might raise this up a bit. Step size, um, this determines um, how large a step it takes in the downward gradient direction trying to get to the minimum. And so initially you can set that step large and then make it smaller at uh, as it gets closer to the minimum. And we'll just leave the default set here. Um, this box right here is sometimes important. So it asks you how you would like to calculate the Hessian. So the Hessian is the second derivative of the energy. So it's going to give you the curvature of the potential energy surface. So is it curving upwards? Is it downwards? So is it a bowl shape? Is it a mountain shape, mountain peak shape? Whatever, and how steep is it? So you can have it either guess the initial Hessian, or if you've calculated it before, you can have it read in the data, or you can actually calculate the Hessian from the beginning. Um, that tends to be expensive. So we're going to have it guess the Hessian, and as it moves along trying to optimize the geometry, um, it will improve what that is. So it says recalculate the Hessian every, and you can increase this if you want it to every so many steps. Go ahead and recalculate the Hessian. So we're just going to leave the default set for now. There are other things that you can add to the data section. So for example, we can add a title. So water um, optimization, and I'm going to say DIDZ for Desert Island Desert, uh, Desert Island Double Zeta. And coordinate type, these are unique Cartesian coordinates um, units in angstroms. So all these distances here in this table are in angstroms. And point group, well, I actually know something about the uh, point group of water. So I'm going to go down here and select the symmetry for water is C and V, and actually it's a C 2 V, so for N right here I need to make sure I set the order of the principal axis at 2. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to tell it to go ahead and use symmetry during the calculation. So that will make sure it gets water's symmetry right. Then down here for system I have some more parameters that I can set. If there are uh, time limits, I can set a time limit. Right now it's everything set at the default value, so I'm going to leave it that way, but um, if it starts to use too much time I can tell it to quit if it wants to do that. 
Here's the molecular orbital guess. So remember, when we're doing self-consistent field hartree fock we have to know initially the electron density. So we take a guess at it. And we're going to guess that using the um, extended Huckel method right here. But there are other methods that you can also use, including reading in molecular orbitals from a previous calculation. Um, you can have it print the initial guess if you want to see what the initial guess orbitals look like. So we'll just go ahead and check that so um, I can show you what those look like later. And this is miscellaneous, these are some extra uh, extra things that you can have it add. Um, these connect to some other programs so you can have it generate output that's appropriate to those programs. Um, you can force a check type run so if you want it to check before it actually does the run you can have it check that. We're not going to do that. And you can also solvate with water so that's all the basic setup. Alright, oops, I went to Oh, it says advanced setup setting changes discard. Um, abort. I'm going to abort that. So advanced setup. Let's make sure everything is still where I set it at. Do, do, do. Yes, that looks good. Okay. So now we're ready to go down here and click this button, generate. And so that's going to generate a file. So um, I'm going to give it a name here. I'm going to call it water. Actually, I'm going to call it h2o underscore opt underscore didz. So that's the name of my input file. It has a .inp, which is the game's default. And so I'm going to save that here on my um, desktop. And now we're done. So that's how you create an uh, input file for the game's program using Avogadro.